in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Geiger counter here in the studio reads 632 wrenchens. That's six times more than enough to kill a man. Down through the ages, the prophets of four warned us that in one day, thousands of years of accomplishments could be wiped away by the destructive hand of power. Now that day has come. All communication with the outside world has stopped just 15 hours after the first nuclear bomb fell on Formosa. The whole world has been silenced, annihilated by nuclear bombs. Three billion people murdered by a thousand nuclear bombs and the lethal fallout. Maybe there's no one left to hear my voice, no living human being to record the end of the world. And now this is Ted Johnson for KBGE Radio. Come, Dad. Larry didn't come. He's lost. They're all lost. Not a sign of life. New York, Paris, Moscow. All's quiet now. Look, Joanna. It's holding at 47. Why, we may be saved, just as I planned it. I'm not sure I want to, Dad. Not without Larry. I'm sorry, honey. I'm afraid he didn't make it. But there's always hope. Come, let's go inside. And it right, Joanna. Our house out here miles from any city, the cliffs, the updrafts of air to fight back the radiation, and provisions for the three of us for months. There's only two of us now, Dad. Honey, I couldn't very well order Larry to come out here and stay with us, even though you are engaged to him. Someone at the door, Dad. It's Larry. He's made it. Wait. Don't open that door until you're sure it's Larry. It is Larry. He's hurt. He'll contaminate it. Larry! Larry! Don't. Don't open that door. We can't take the chance. Let me go. I've got to open that door. Wait. Don't touch him. He's red hot with radioactivity. It's not Larry. We've got to help him, whoever he is. Wait. 
We'd better check the Geiger counter. Seven hundred and forty mentions, and he's still breathing. What? He should be dead. But he's still breathing. Nobody can take that much and still live. Don't touch him. It's my responsibility. Who are you? I'm Steve Morrow. It's my brother. Better keep away from him. Granger? It's Granger. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. God, he's still alive. I don't know why, but he's still alive. He must be dying. The counter showed 740 wrenches. Where are the bedrooms? Upstairs. Come with me. No. They can't stay here. Yes, they can, Dad. But they're contaminated. It's too late for them, but not us. I'll get you some water and clean clothes. There's a girl out here. Throw your weapon on the floor. I warn you, this gun's loaded. Okay, okay. Stop it, Dad. Don't. Move on into the room here. Come in where I can see you. Are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. Is, is it okay if we stay? Of course you can't stay. I have provisions for only three people. Mac, we're staying, so forget the sob story. Please, Richard, help me. You can't stay here. It isn't the way I planned it. I have provisions for three people only. I'm Joanna Ramsey. Please bring your suitcase upstairs, and I'll get you some fresh water.
wait. I didn't mean nothing. I was just looking to see if anyone was alive in the house. What's your name? I'm Tim Henderson. I, I'm a rancher. I live up on the cliff. Sorry I roughed you up. Sure. Come on. <laughs> Why, how'd I knock you down? Come on up the house. No. He can't stay. Oh. Let the worthless old coot stay. We're all gonna die anyway. Now, I'm the ranking officer. I mean... My second in command will be Steve. This counter is registering 47 rings.